this is um, a Walther LGU177 um, but as you can see it's been modified uh, by uh, Paul Short. Um, basically the gun itself is uh, uh, a Walther LGU um, it's got the uh, standard LGU setup, it's rotating piston um, it's got it's very much like a TX200 as far as the actual mechanism is concerned when I first bought this gun I was actually quite disappointed with the underlever mechanism uh, simply because it would it would drop down when you if you if you drop the gun on a on a sandbag or something when you were shooting it it would drop down but um, I took it to Paul Short and asked him to do a few specific things for instance he's he's taken the action apart he's polished everything uh, the action itself already um, there's no metal to metal contact it's all got Delrin rings all the way around as you can see Delrin there there's Delrin at the back of the chain uh, the, the the compression tube there's Delrin on the pistons um, so it's it, there's no metal to metal contact in there he's polished all the spring he opened up the transfer point to 3.1 millimeters and reamed it uh, on my request um, and it shoots really nice now he also added this, this, uh, this silencer shroud. Now this is made of aluminium and has Delrin internal, so it's very light. Uh, I mean, it looks quite bulky, but it actually adds no real weight to the gun. And then changed the way that the underlever actually attaches. Uh, I was very unhappy with the underlever on this gun when I bought it because there was a lot of sideways movement, as you can see now. There's very little, if any, sideways movement, and it was all down to these rivets here not being uh, crimped up or pressed together hard enough, and it's cured all that and got rid of the play in it and uh, changed the the way that the underlever connects by just putting two magnets there, and they just grab all quite nicely. So it makes it really sweet. Um, I really like this gun. Uh, the, the wood on it, it's just uh, a beech stock but it's quite a nice feel to it. It's got that satin sprayed varnish finish. Uh, you hear a lot of people talking about the triggers on these saying that there's a lot of uh, first stage play. Um, it's never bothered me, I mean the first stage bit is just where you take up that little bit of play and then the trigger itself is nice and crisp and clean. So, uh, so I really like it. Okay, so that's a basic description of the gun. Um, I think it looks absolutely fantastic with the Paul Short Shroud on it. Uh, it's made a superb job of it and it looks the business. So the, the thing about a gun is you want to know how it shoots. Uh, it's currently developing about 11.7 foot pounds which is a little bit hot for my taste. So uh, I will be calming it down to about 11.2 but we'll do a few shots so you can see how it shoots. Okay I'll do a few shots so you can see how the gun handles and recoils and then I'll show you what I'm shooting at there is recoil but it's a very pleasant it's not uh, it's not bad at all Everything feels nice and tight. It's a really nice gun to shoot. I'm actually shooting at some spinners at 37 yards. So you've seen other gun shoots, you can see the level of recoil, which is uh, actually it's quite pleasant. And uh, I'll just turn the camera towards the uh, actual targets and you can see what I'm shooting at. Okay just so you can see what I'm uh, actually shooting at uh, we'll just pull the camera up point it up the garden and zoom in a bit. Now these spinners uh, I measured it out and those particular ones at that range that is 37 yards now then 
the zeroing target on the left is what I'm going to be shooting at. Uh, just to give you an idea of the accuracy, I'll shoot at the, the 15 millimeter uh, bit sticking up at the top. Uh, there's a little bit of wind today, but uh, it's not bad. As you can see, for a Springer at 37 yards, it's a very accurate gun. Let's take one of the larger targets to the right. There you go. Quite a, an impressive air ride.